So it's really common on 2013 to 15 police interceptor utilities that had this uh, lock cylinder uh, in the tailgate. It was really common that they had rust out. It was so common that there was actually a, a restricted recall on these, but the recall period has long passed. And so if you're having this issue, um, you're kind of left on your own and it's just going to keep spreading. Now, I opted to just delete this hole altogether and weld it up uh, because the police department uh, that I bought it from, they used the same keys for all their entire fleet for the exterior doors. And because of that, they drilled out all of the um, cylinders. And so my cylinder, uh, if I did all this paintwork and stuff, it would still just be a hole that does nothing essentially. And so I just removed the cylinder, the lock cylinder in there, and then I decided that we'll just close this up and uh, make it look more like an explorer game because the explorer didn't have these holes here. So what we do is we're going to start uh, grinding away the metal and we had to take quite a bit away on the front and the back. You want to make sure all the rust is gone. And then we created a little patch, a little circular patch that we're just tigging, tig welding in here. Tigging's nice because uh, it just keeps the heat down and you can just work at small increments, walk away, let it cool, come back. You could do it with a normal welder, um, but tig worked. Um, here's some dolphin putty, which is just a glazed coat body filler. Um, really easy to sand and on the back side you can see our patch here which I will be later coating with an epoxy primer and a rust encapsulator. Um, then we're going to sand our body filler with 220 grit sandpaper uh, and get it nice and flush. We're just hand blocking that so we can get it real well. If you use a DA it might mess things up. All of where it's shiny you need to get all this shiny to dull back and you do that by you know rubbing a red scotch bright pad and you can do that the whole panel but you don't want to dig in to the color except for in the area where you're going to be prepping. This is primer surfacer. Um, this is uh, what you spray over your bodywork to uh, conceal your bodywork uh, and to really uh, seal it in and then we can it, it builds up high and then we can sand it down and so you can see this is after we've sanded it down um, and it's a lot smoother now and it's sealed in that bodywork. So uh, now you can see I've scuffed with red scotch spray everywhere where it's shiny um, and that is so that uh, we can lay clear coat down and but you don't want to sand or scuff into the color You just want to scuff it um, in just in the clear coat And that's what we've done here We've masked off the rest of the, the vehicle or rest of the, the door and the glass and everything Overspray always finds a way so you want to do a good job masking off the glass uh, in, uh, upside and bottom side So uh, I'm using shop line um, base coat clear coat and this is ingot silver, that's just the color code. Um, if you look in the door jam of your car, the driver's door jam, it'll say the color code. You can just go into any auto body paint shop and buy some clear and, and some color. It can help you match it. Um, this is just a quick cup uh, from Harbor Freight. And this is a Harbor Freight uh, Black Widow 1.3 HTE gun. You don't have to use this expensive a gun if you're just doing this one job, but I, I'm a painter, so I just, this is the gun I use for cheaper jobs, um, quick jobs. Uh, so this is after a couple coats of blending in and I'm only taking the color out to just past the repair area and kind of blending it in underneath where the license plate will go so it'll be the least visible. Um, I don't do a lot of blending so it's not my best work but um, this is after a coat of clear coat and now you can see that I've cleared over where I just scuffed and you can't even tell on that left side that it was ever scuffed up because that scotch bright doesn't lose any scratches. Uh, and that bodywork turned out pretty good. Now here it is, uh, right after I pulled it out of the booth, um, and it was raining, so we got some uh, water droplets on there, but the bodywork turned out pretty good, even though there is a little bit of metallic flop because it wasn't a perfect blend, but it turned out pretty good. So hopefully this is at least a little informational. Um, if you don't want to weld in the hole, you can at least do this painting part, and hopefully that helps.